Hi everyone, welcome to the next section of this video. Alright, in the previous video, we've looked at the Linux kernel module, we've looked at what the Linux kernel module is, and in this video, we're going to look at how to load a kernel module, how to unload a kernel module, how to get the kernel module information. Alright, and a quick one if you're going to be writing the Linux the LFC SA exam or the RHC SA exam, just scroll down to the end of this website and click on the exam practice questions. All right, it is very important you um, practice before you write the exam. We have over 100 practice questions and we're going to be updating the website from time to time. So please just um, visit this website. I'm going to be dropping the link to the website in the description section below. All right. So to unload the Linux kernel module, you use the command mod probe. All right. So if you've been following me through this course, you know that I've always said, if you want to know how to use the command, you can use the man page or the dash dash help option. All right. So let's see, you can see the option R, which means remove modules instead of inserting. So to remove the USB storage module, you use the command Let's see if it's still loaded. USB storage. Okay, so it's still loaded. To remove this module, use the command mod probe option hyphen R. Okay. So you can see um, module USB storage is still in use. You know there are about three modules that are dependent on each other for the USB storage module. We have the USB storage, we have the UAS and the USB. So let's try the U UAS. All right, so the UAS has been removed. So let's see the USB storage again. So you can see that the module is gone. So the module is not loaded anymore. To load the Linux kernel module, use the command mod probe followed by the name of the module. So for example, if I want to load the module UAS, just going to use this command and I'm going to load the UAS module. So to see the module again, let's grip for this so you can see that the module is loaded so the thing is the usb storage module is dependent on the uas module so the uas module is the real usb storage module all right so to get the kernel module information you use the command mode info all right followed by the name of the module so, for example, if I want to get the information for the USB storage module, I'm going to do mode info followed by the USB storage module. All right, so you can see um, a lot of information about the module. But what we are interested, what is paramount is for this course is the um, PAM, which is the parameter, all right? So the parameter information of a kernel module is very important information because the kernel parameters can be changed to suit our needs. So you can see the kernel parameters here. So um, again, let's look for another Linux kernel module information. For example, to look for the um, KVM, I know of a KVM module. All right. So you can see the parameter as well the parameters as well so you can see you can also see the boolean value and you can decide to change the boolean value if you want you can see the boolean values here all right the one with bool we've talked about booleans in um sc linux when we were talking about sc linux all right so that shouldn't be a problem okay Let's look at another Linux kernel module information. I want to look for the one we can easily understand. All right. Um, let's see. 
let me look for another one all right okay so let's look for the um, mode info for cd-rom all right so you can also see the parameters here you can see them here and you can look see this this means this parameter is auto reject the one here is auto reject so it means that the cd room can either do auto reject or that if you want it to do auto reject it can either do that or not all right so for this to be able to do auto reject you either change the kernel module parameter to yes or one or you change it to no or zero all right so boolean value can be yes which is one and it can be zero which is no in the next video we're going to look at how to change the kernel module parameter with examples all right so thank you for watching and please subscribe to this channel bye for now